Christmas is my favorite time of year, and it has been a lifelong dream to come to Europe during the holiday season to see these quaint old towns come alive with the festive spirit. There's a charm to the cobblestone streets and colorful row homes being transformed into a winter wonderland. In a search for some of the best markets, I spent the first few weeks of December going to five markets in five different countries to compare and contrast how different regions mark this cozy holiday. My fifth market stop was in Valkenburg, Netherlands, and here's how it went. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome to Valkenburg, Netherlands. Valkenburg is a small little town, just about a 10 minute train ride from Maastricht. And we are very south in the Netherlands in the Limburg region, which is this little strip of land between Belgium and Germany. And Valkenburg is just this cute little town. There's a little castle and then all of these winding streets and these little canals just filled with street side cafes. And it is also home to one of the best Christmas markets here in the Netherlands. This is my fifth Christmas market stop on my Western European Christmas market tour this year. I started in Heidelberg, Germany, then I went to Strasbourg, France, Luxembourg, Liège, Belgium, and then now I'm here just about an hour away from Liège in the south of Netherlands. And it has been so fun to travel around these different regions of Western Europe and just see the different ways that these cultures celebrate the holiday season here and comparing and contrasting some of the different styles and activities and market stalls and foods that are all of the different markets here in all the towns I've went to. But I have to say, I'm actually very excited to check out the Christmas market here in Valkenburg. It's known to be one of the best small town Christmas markets in Europe and the town is completely transformed into a Christmas wonderland during this time of year. Number one, it's just the longest running Christmas market in Europe. It lasts over 50 days starting in mid-November going through into early January. And number two making it so unique is the town here has a bunch of old mining caves all through the hills here and some go under the castle and so they utilize all of these caves and turn the caves into these beautiful Christmas markets just filled with Christmas stalls and Christmas decorations. So that'll be really unique to see in underground Christmas markets here in Valkenburg. And then above ground, there's also like a little Santa village with some wooden chalets, probably similar to some of the other markets we've seen through Europe. And then also they have a Christmas parade that runs twice a week. Unfortunately, it won't be today, so I won't get to see the Christmas parade, but it just shows that they go all out to bring the Christmas spirit here to Valkenburg. So yeah, without further ado, let's head into the old town here of Valkenburg, check out some of the winding streets, the Christmas decorations, and some of the Christmas markets here. This little town of Valkenburg is adorable. I've just been walking around all of these winding little streets and you'll just get glimpses of this 11th century castle that's just up on the hill above all these old towns. And there's a lot of these cute, cozy cafes that are sprawling right into the street and they all have like really nice Christmas decorations and very, very cute little town. But unfortunately, the weather is not so nice. It's kind of rainy here, so we're getting wet out on the streets here. But fortunately, this town is known for its underground Christmas market. So let's start by heading to the main attraction here. I believe there are three caves here that you can enter, but it's going to cost you to go to all of the Christmas markets underground here. And each one has its own ticket that you have to buy, and it's about 10 to 20 euros each. So I think I'm just gonna start at the main underground Christmas market here, which is the largest one, which is called Jimin Tigrat. I probably pronounced that completely wrong, but let's check out that one and it'll keep us dry and it'll be one of the most unique Christmas markets that I've seen on this trip. So let's head in and check it out. I've just bought my tickets to the main municipal 
cave here and it has kind of these tacky big Christmas decorations, this massive Santa out here and it's nine euros to enter. So let's head down into the cave and check it out. deep underground Valkenberg now in the municipal caves and there's over 70 kilometers of caves beneath the town here and the Christmas market itself takes up two kilometers of caves and it's almost like a mini shopping mall down here. You have all of these different stands, there's over 50 stalls just selling different crafts and different Christmas supplies but it's also they have shoes and then clothing and then there's coffee shops and food places all along here and there's over 500 Christmas trees lining the halls of the caves here and it's just this huge maze like I have a map that I'm following because there's just so many different twists and turns you can take throughout the cave system down here so yeah let's just wander around explore get lost and again it's so nice because it's dry down here and we're avoiding the rain so perfect place on a rainy day to check out Christmas markets here in the Netherlands show you exactly just how big and extensive this cave system is but I've walked probably about three quarters of the way down this one stretch and again there's a couple different shoot offs that go off different ways so I've probably explored only half the caves here and there's this big open area with all these seats there's a restaurant there's some music playing and there's a bar and there's just a lot of people hanging out here and there's still even more to explore this way and then there's all these different seating places and these light displays to get pictures with and there's just so much it's again it's like over two kilometers of just these caves under here so let's go past the little restaurant cafe here and keep exploring deep into the caves here just reached the end of the main central avenue of the caves here and that was so long it was well over a mile to make it all the way to the end here and we just have this nice dragon carving on the wall here and it just has this big cavernous ending here and there's lots of lights and a lot of people coming to get pictures with the lit up penguin at the end and all throughout here there's just so many different stalls it really feels like a shopping mall and it's just packed with people and it's only midday on a Tuesday so on the weekends I can imagine it's just packed and they actually limit the number of sales of tickets down here just for safety reasons so that it's not so packed but as we were walking there were a couple other shoots that kind of stemmed off from this main route so I'm gonna go back through the main route and then explore a little bit of those offshoots. I know there's like a winter wonderland and Santa's cave and they also have a little bit of information on what these mines were used for and you know some of how they cut the stone out of these mines. So yeah let's head back down the main chute and enjoy all of the lights in the shops and we'll show you a little bit more of the offshoots of the cave.
So I've just come down one of those side spurs here and I've made it to the Winter Wonderland and Santa's Cave. And you just have a ton of these different light displays. You have these snow cave looking things and then you have Santa's little cave that has his seat and a mailbox where you can send letters to him. And there's a couple other shops along the way here. So very cool checking out some of these like deep caves in Valkenburg and just super unique just seeing all this Christmas winter wonderland deep underground here and all of like the carving from the mines when they were mining all of the stone for a lot of the buildings here. So we'll slowly make our way back to the exit of the cave and then head up above ground. Hopefully it stopped raining and we'll explore a little bit more of the Christmas markets of Valkenburg. just left the cave there and I'm back in the rainy cold outdoors here although it's not raining as bad as it was earlier but let's uh, continue walking around some of the streets of Valkenburg and see what other kind of Christmas markets and Christmas cafes and stores that they have in this cute little town in Limburg, Netherlands. Alright guys, so I just went to the edge of town a little bit there to the chairlift that takes you up the hill and there's like a Christmas amusement park up there but because it's rainy not a lot of things are open and the Christmas market is only open on the weekends and it's a Tuesday and the one downside about Valkenburg is there's like entrance fees and costs for everything and again it's just so rainy today so I don't think I'll bother going up the hill. But let's uh, head back to the old town here. There's lots of cute shops and cute things to see and we still have the Santa's Village in the town center there. So let's head over there, check out that Christmas market and see what's going on in the downtown of Valkenburg. I've just passed through the big castle gate here and over one of the canals and now I'm in the little Santa's village which is just these rows of wooden chalets here. We have a lot of different shops. There's a food court area with some drinking places, some hot food, but it's right along these canals and it's just in this open square in the cute little town of Valkenburg. So let's just wander around the little village and check out some of the shops and what all we can see here. So let's check it out. So this is the little Santa's village here in the center of town. It's pretty small, especially when you compare it to the underground caves. There's only about 20 or so chalets. There's a little food and drink area, Santa's bar and Santa's grill where you can get some food. There's a tiny little carousel, but it's honestly one of the cheaper looking ones that I've seen in the Christmas markets here. But there's a lot of just different stalls here where you can stay a little bit dry under some of the awnings there. And they have some little like chalets that you can sit in with some warmers to have the drinks. But there's not a lot of people out. Probably most people are underground today because it's just such a rainy, dreary day. So yeah, but pretty cool just to check out some of the shops here. So anyways, gonna try to find a little place maybe check out some of the shops, get inside, stay a little bit warm for the next hour or so. And then once it gets dark here, there's a little bit of a light walk where some of the stores do special things in their windows with some cool lights. So I wanna walk around the town and check out some of those lights at night. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
it is 5.30 now and it's dark enough that hopefully the light show has started. So there's been a lot of really nice window displays here in Valkenburg, but there's a shadow light circuit that has about six different storefronts that are participating in creating a little bit of a story with some of their lights in the windows. So I'm gonna walk around town and try to find most of the six of them and just check out some of the light show here in Valkenburg. So the window displays, they were actually just these tiny little boxes. It wasn't anything too interesting, but it was fun to just walk around at night here and, and see the town lit up a little bit with all the beautiful lights. And then there were a lot of other beautiful store displays. But anyways, guys, it looks like they're shutting everything down pretty early tonight, being a Tuesday and because of the rain. So that's about it for checking out the market here in Valkenburg. And again, very cool, probably the most unique market I've been to, especially with all the underground caves. And it was really nice just being in this tiny little town. It was really cute just walking around these little winding streets and you had these amazing cafes everywhere that were just so well lit and they just had these cozy little outdoor seats with the warm lamps and was a really cool vibe just walking around here. And yeah, so that's about it for my five small town Christmas markets in five different countries. And it was really fun comparing and contrasting a bunch of them. And I'll probably make a separate video. I'll just do a quick recap of all of them, comparing and contrasting them. But I think I'm walking away with Strasbourg definitely being the standout Christmas market. Anyways, gotta catch the train back to Maastricht tonight. And yeah, thanks for watching all of the Christmas markets. I had a really fun time going around and showing you. And I'm definitely gonna do another Christmas tour next year. So if you have any suggestions of markets to check out next year, please let me know because I'm hoping to do another little series on Christmas markets throughout maybe Eastern Europe next year. So yeah, that was fun. And thanks for watching. <laughs>